Hello everybody and welcome back to You as a Fool Plays Rimworld. So, guess what? There has been an update to Rimworld. Update 1.2, I think, uh, in betwixt me recording things. Um, it added a whole bunch of new stuff. Let me just check out what's happening. Uh, that's an issue. Who's Nina? Oh, someone we must have captured. You'll be fine. Right leg's been shot off. Interesting. Um, anyway, like I was saying, there's been an update. It added some cool stuff, and I'm going to have a look and see if it's here, or is it somewhere else, perhaps? I don't really know where it is. I assume uh, the update applies retroactively to already loaded save games if not then uh sad times how do we yeah here we go so we've got marine armor you know this stuff and recon armor yeah i'm gonna slow down for a sec we've also got prestige recon armor and stuff and grenadier armor so they added a bunch of new stuff they've added a new version Sorry, they've, they've turned me down. Or my bottom down. They've added um, three new types of armor. One of them is like recon armor, but it has a jetpack. It's a freaking jetpack. How cool is that? One of them is uh, marine armor, but it's called grenadier. It has a grenade launcher on the shoulder that you can fire. And the other one is the like cataphract armor that Zach has, but it's called something else. I forget. It has a grenade launcher as well, but it fires like a, it sets like see this. Uh, area here all these walls it sets this area on fire like big enough on fire when you fire the grenade launcher and it's immune or really resistant to heat so you just wade in and you like stab a bunch of people so it's wicked they also added a bunch of new psychic powers and the way psychic powers and psi focus is uh, accrued is has changed uh, you know the way you gain psi focus and the way neural heat works um uh, Zach can do speeches from the throne and when he does and they get an inspiring speech there's a chance for people to actually be inspired now uh, what else did they do oh new quests whole bunch of new quests uh, like groups of people you know like these people who come and trade and stuff a group of people can show up and just ask for asylum for a little while and you know you can do with them as you please um, and there's new like new raids you know how they, they show up and usually they try and kill us and that's all fair and good. And sometimes they like they did up here, they start a siege. Well now they'll actually be off the map in another map tile on the world. Usually close by, so it might be like here or here or something. And they've set something up that will be a pain for you and your people and you have to go and fight them. Basically, everything is really, really cool. And as we kind of go through and discover these things, we'll touch on them more and more. Uh, one of the ones is, if we have any, which I don't believe we do, the uh, the smoke pop belts, you know, the belts that your your people can can put on, and when they get shot, they go a into a bunch of smoke. They no longer do that. Now you have to activate them and like manually, and they have three uses, and you can refuel them with chem fuel. So basically, everything is cool. Like unbelievably cool I'm just gonna look through yeah 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 here we go so they've also added so you can make you know smoke pop belts and they've got those the shield belts they function as normal you can make these broad shields they require one broad shield core and one component and the broad shield core you can only get from mechanoids but this thing you plonk it down and it generates like an impenetrable force field around your people how wicked is that? So I'm just looking through to see if there's a... Uh, if any of the new stuff is here. That's right, we did just get the, the stomach options, didn't we? I wonder if you have to learn how to make the jetpack. I don't see it in, in this list of things. And that's fine. 
I'm sure we'll, we'll come across it. Oh, I should also mention, we have changed shield belts and smoke pot belts and the psychic insanity lances and the jetpacks and things. So now every character, uh, disease gut worms, every character has their, their weapon and their armor. They can also have a utility item that they can all carry. They can all carry one utility item to give them a bit more versatility in the field. Zack has gut worms. Zack always has something. So he gets really, really hungry. Okay. Uh, anyway, let's speed us back up and let's go. What was the last thing we did? I think we've started to expand up to here. This, all, all of this, this is our domain. Everything that the light touches belongs to us, Simba. Um, except over here. And we're going to start putting more stuff down. First of all, we laid out the foundation, well, the plans for more houses, should we need them, which would come in handy now if they do this whole bunch of people show up with uh, quests. I didn't realise we had a quest. Oh, we're doing this right now. Yeah, we're keeping uh, Theophas happy. A grizzly bear is hunting Brit for food. I hate that. I, I, yeah, I don't know if there's anything I could do about that. Oh, and they've changed the way Royal Favour works. They now call it something else entirely. I forget what it is. Um, Honour, maybe? So basically, when you get honour, instead of just becoming, you know, gaining all the honour and being done, they do a ceremony in here where someone shows up from the royal faction and knights your person or like ascends them to the new level uh, and then they get their thing, their, their new title which also means you get these new permits and the royal permits are things that your people can do that they used to be able to do, you know they used to be able to call trooper squads and things there's more of them now, you can call troopers, you can call janissaries, you can call cataphract squads if you're high enough level but now, you can call a labourer team or a labourer gang, which is a bunch of people who show up for four days and they just help. You know, they, they act as your colonists, you house them, you feed them, and they work for you for four days. You can also call orbital strikes, and then an orbital salvo, which is basically several orbital strikes, and it just messes people up. Uh, and the transport shuttle. So a shuttle shows up for you, uh, and... You can go 70 tiles on the world map, you know, across the entire world. You can just transport people and transport them back. There's two separate uses to transport them there and transport them back. But it's a super useful thing to get your people somewhere for a trade. Or if you've walked all the way there, you can get them all the way back. Uh, so we should, we have four unused permits. So I'm going to, I'm going to unlock those. And uh, return all permits. Yeah, so for eight honor, you can return all of your permits and like redistribute them, which is pretty awesome. So I'm I'm really excited about the new stuff in the update. It looks wicked. And if we get some of the psychic powers, it's insane. So how are we doing? Right, one of the things I did want to do is uh, expand our indoor growing capability. But that also means that we're probably going to want to add both of these geothermal vents. Oh, we've got loads of steel! We're the man of steel, look at that. Uh, so we're probably going to want to add both of these because we're going to need the power to keep the, the sun lamps going. Renaissance hiding in his room. Brain wiring research has been finished. That's right, Dennis is just chunking through. Hit, hit up the uranium slug turrets. Uh, right. So the question is, oh, actually, no, we set up three of these down here, and eventually, one day, someone will do it. <laughs> I hope. And then we'll grow more stuff, and it'll be great. It'll be fantastic. Uh, why is Onasan hiding in his room? Oh, that's right, his sister Bob died. I think they're feeling pretty okay 
Oh, or not. Minor break risks. Uh, raid. Okay. Uh, a group of tribes people from the Union of Norobobobaba have arrived nearby. It looks like they want to use sappers. Time around your defences. So, a decent amount of people. 13. 13 humans. With a, a split of Iquas, knives and clubs. Now, a bunch of people have gone to bed. I hate having to do this. Uh, Herb, are you and... Smarty. The rest of you, sorry to do this, get drafted. Please come down here. Yeah, look, look at this, these idiots. Okay, so what's interesting is they are going to tunnel their way. Ah, oh, see. They are only ever tunnel their way into here. They never tunnel their way into here, I think, because we have a gun turret. I wonder if we remove this wall, would they never want to go up there? I'm going to make Zach Vertigo balls a bunch of them. So they're all throwing up and having a bad time. Please execute this man. Lovely. Yep, they're having a bad time. Okay. That's everyone sorted. They ran. Uh, please allow everything. So we got some loot from that, all in all. Nobody lived, but that's fine. Um, we've already got Nina. Everyone's having a meal. And they did change... Oh, Nina's gone berserk. Sure thing. How long will you... You've, you've broken out. But you still cannot escape. Okay. Uh, quest available. So, sorry, I just want to say. They've changed the way uh, you get loot in raids. So now... I think it's like this, you know, herbal medicine and, and the pemmican and stuff. They now choose something valuable to that faction and they split it across everybody involved in the raid. So you can get some, some loot bits here and there. And uh, it just makes the raids feel a bit a bit more worth worth it for you. Yeah? And maybe that's why you'd want to go out and fight people. Uh, she'll probably calm down eventually. Uh, right, and we also got a quest. Yeah, the Labrador Shiver died. Major break risk on Zach. Why? Zach? He's in serious pain. Well, yeah, he's got gut worms. It's just, it, it is what it is. I also think, I'm not sure, but I think, uh, in order to level up to the next level, you have to already meet the requirements of the next bone room. Um, which makes me think we're going to want to expand this throne here now have it looking ready and fresh and fly for when the people show up and then they can just straight up night Zach and be done with it also we got this quest uh, Prisoner Benitez Kagome Gekas, Yeoman of the Refugee Imperium has been caught in bed with the wrong person she's imprisoned the inappropriate lover in a show of rejection uh, the scandal will blow over in 15 hours so he'll only be here for 15 hours He's sick with blood rot, yeah, and will require daily treatment. Uh, unfortunately, court rivals are after her. The Leia Banker Union will try to break the lover out. There'll be two raids. Ooh. Two raids, four archers, one berserker, two heavy archers, three hunters, two warriors. It says 12 people per raid. We did just deal with 13 people. I didn't feel too bad. Uh, and they have changed the way Persona Swords work. They now have traits. So, some of the traits, for example, Kind Thoughts. This weapon's persona is kind and supportive, and it whispers kind thoughts to whoever is bonded with it. So they're happy using the sword. But they have Hunger Pangs. The weapon's persona loves food and transmits that onto, the bond, onto the whoever it bonds with. So they have higher food... 
or have, have a higher desire to eat, but they have uh, a mood buff from the sword. You can get Persona swords that are like, they kind of whisper, oh bloody hell, Nina broke out. Uh, they kind of whisper just dangerous words into your ears, you know, things like that. Uh, and that, that's not what we want to deal with. I actually, I, I should look. Did it retroactively apply to other people's things? I don't think it did. Blue doesn't have a gun. Blue's really bad. Oh, here you go. Turn up on recruit. Oh, someone's going to capture her anyway. Well, but Blue, what are you going to have? You, you were going to have a sword, weren't you? Yeah, you're gonna have the murder maker. You, Blue, have the murder maker. Yeah, and it's Persona, uh, but it's one that we got before. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, no, wait. Blue's gonna have the Zeus hammer. That's right, Zeus hammer. Um, this is all outdoors, because they broke the door. Turner, can you? Can you do that and do that and do that? Is uh, is Ona son on his way? Oh, he is. He's gonna capture Nina. I'm not sure if we want to capture her. By the way, if we want to actually try and recruit her, I don't know. It's Martin Hickling all wounded, but that's fine. Zach is preparing to build. That's what we like. LJ is also building the door. This is good. There we, so this is all indoors now, right? Yeah. Yeah. We have two idle colonists. That's okay, because they're the two who are going to be idle anyway. Leaving in 9.3 days. And he's a soldier. Oh, the alpaca went mad right then and there. It's gonna die in seven hours, so we, we should be alright. Um, she lost her leg. Yeah, her right leg shot off. These things happen. She's a good shooter. She can't do dumb labor or care or cook. She's a gay jogger. I don't know. Oh, the jogger might be nice. Plus forty percent. I don't think anyone else in the colony is gay, so she'll probably never have a lover. Well, I don't really know if it works like that. She might find a lover. What's Smarty running for? The alpaca. She might find a lover. Uh, LJ's on an insulting spree. I feel like our people are always miserable. And I'm not sure why. I don't know if it's something I did. Or if it's just the way of the world. You know? Like, what, what, what's wrong with you? Right? Needs. Oh, nothing's wrong with Turner. Turner loves life. Engie? Recreation deprived. Really? Uh, Dennis loves life. I never have a problem with Dennis. Let me let me let me rework some people's schedules. I want people to uh, recreate, as it were, uh, before they go to bed. Yeah. I want them to, to go to bed, wake up, recreation, work, more recreation before they go to bed, because they, you know, got to wind down. Hopefully that will maybe curtail some of these issues. There is a party. Now everyone's going to get a mood boost from this party. And it's happening in the second recreation room. By the way, I never supplied power here. Let's just run some power down like that. Uh, let's also think about... The party has been called off. Why? What does that mean? Did anybody get any... Oh, uh, yeah, they got the attended party buff. Attended party. 
hardly lasts for 10 days. Hell yeah. Okay. So we're going to do uh, uh, this. Uh, this is going to be the extended throne room. We'll put the throne here. So you still have to walk in this way. But we'll have the throne here and it will look really nice. It'll be big. There'll be braziers and things. Or we could have it kind of like a curve like this. And then have the throne in here. It'll be a whole thing. Basically, it'll look nice. We might not have enough cloth to make the carpet though. Permit choice ready. Uh, go for it, I guess. He's not going to be here permanently. Uh, undignified throne room. The other braziers must be lit. Is that why he's sad? Is he sad because his throne room is undignified? Minus eight. Are you insane? When you're done consuming that thing, we'll refuel the braziers. Not having you be upset, that upset, because these things aren't on fire. Uh, yeah, I'm flipping that as well. We never put a marble tile in here. I don't know that we have enough marble. 485 marble. That's not much. Uh, so we're gonna, if we are gonna want to make this place look, you know, continue to look the way it it looks, uh, we're gonna need to buy marble from some traders. It's not what we want to do, but it's what we're gonna have to do. Oh, we can also expand this zone all the way here. So we now have a massive storage area, and I like it. Kind of notice also storing animals here. I suppose that yeah, you can store animals here. I was gonna say someone needs to butcher, and we have no crops. That scares me. Oh wait, it's April May. That's spring, isn't it? Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna get our crops back. That's cotton. That's whatever that is. Corn. Trees, potatoes, and what is this? That's also cotton? I'm not sure we should be growing that much cotton. I think we need a more food. And when Dennis is done with this research, by the way, to uh, designate this thing off for now, uh, I think when Dennis is done with the research, oh, also, it tells you how much to zoom out I thought it told it okay I feel like it told me how much steel was there for a moment it's a lot basically we're doing pretty well someone will repair this one day I'm sure they will also plant that there and there So we've got a we've got a, a nice, fairly stable colony going. And one day they'll build these walls. And one day they'll deconstruct these walls. They're building this. Excellent. They rebuilt. They haven't rebuilt all these doors. Sure. Do we want to try and? get this person we don't get any relationship gain on release well she hates everyone that's fine she likes her son and granddaughter and grandson oh one of them's dead whoops um good shooting good plants good artistic good social good intellectual Jogger, so she's fast, gay. She was a mafia boss and a story writer. Oh, she could spin you a tale. She can't cook. We've got cooks. She can't do medical. But I mean, we've got some uh, doctors. Uh, why not? You know? 
let's, let's at least reduce her resistance. Yeah, she has a 100% recruitment chance. Uh, we'll just reduce her resistance. And maybe one day she'll join us. I feel like the more the merrier. I also want these wooden floors done. Because I don't know that we're going to be able to replicate this lovely design everywhere. Oh! Oh! They're out here building! Let's go! Okay. So, what? Oh, bit of that. All three of them are in place. Create growing zones. You created. Don't do that. Can you create a separate growing zone? You can. Okay. What have we got growing here? That's cycloid plants, rice, potatoes, strawberries. Sweet. So, here's my thinking, right? Hops, because we want a bit of hops. Uh, corn, because we want a bit of corn. And a ta ta ta. Go smoke leaf for now. No, we won't go smoke leaf for now. We'll do. We'll do more rice. That was hay grass. We'll do more rice. So we'll be getting a decent amount of rice. I worry about the food situation. Well, I'm not worried. I'm concerned about the food situation because remember when this place was just full of food. The good thing is uh, we can just extend down this way if we ever need to uh, to fill more space. Oh, by the way, deconstruct these. Are they building the floors? Lovely. So even if the rooms aren't quite this nice, with the wooden floors, they at least look okay. Uh, Hicklin has inspired recruitment. He will successfully recruit the next prisoner, regardless of difficulty or resistance. Well, you know what, Hicklin? Nina looks like she might like to join us. And for the time being... Uh, everyone else isn't going to warden. Hicklin's going to be the only warden. Go on, Hicklin. He's done it. They did not lie about that inspired recruitment. New recruit, Nina. Hicklin promised kindness to Nina and asked her to join her. Nina accepted and has joined Hicklin's community. Uh, everybody can go back to wardening as you were. It's a high priority thing. We like to keep people happy. Uh, let's check out what Nina can do. Yeah, she's your patient and doctor and basic. She she should warden. She can hunt, I guess. Smith, tailor, and craft. Yeah, everybody plant cuts because I feel like food is a priority. Uh, before you do anything, Nina, please. Everybody on the standard food plan except you, I guess. Yeah. And uh, everybody on the uh, one drink per day. And outfit five. There we go. So she's looking pretty fly. I like it. Gear. Some pretty high quality stuff. Lizard skin bowler hat. That's what we like. There's a masterwork cloth toque in here, though. Um. recruited Nina like that feels good team we're planting crops getting ready well I say getting ready we're in the growing season now we are gonna want to build some walls around here like that to enclose the area uh, with a door like 
Ah. Well, I think we need a double door. But we'll have a door there. We might need an extra gun turret in here. In order to cover... Because this will cover the whole wall. We might want to reinstall this gun turret like here. And then build a copy of one in here. And then we'll... We need a couple of heaters. So build a couple of copies of these. Now while we've got the steel, there was a zut. Oh, in here. Yeah, put the fire out, please. Oh, it's extremely hot in this room. It's 200 and something degrees in this room. Ooh. Okay, the temperature's going down. Wow. That was dangerous. Oh, do you know what we do want to do here as well, thinking about it? We probably want to double wall the area. Like that. To keep the heat in and or out. But having said that, please... How did we do it down here? We did it like that. Please, uh... Deconstruct that and deconstruct that and add some coolers in. Like so. And then we'll need some power. Probably running up this wall like that. And that will double connect to this whole area. That will be pretty good. Nice. Uh, yeah, the, the second gun tower uh, will be useful in here, just to to convince people. Why is there no power? Oh, that's right. All of our batteries discharged when the zut happens. Then it's on a fire starting speed. Uh, but that's he's not unhappy. He just randomly does it because he's a power maniac. But we're getting our battery power back. We definitely need people to repair all these things. That's right, we've got auto Marriage is on. Uh, who? What? LJ proposed a lifelong commitment to Blue. Blue agreed and the two are now engaged. Yes. Blue paramedic will change her last name to Preston. Okay, LJ Preston. Lovely. Oh, that's right, they were lovers already. Is anyone sleep in these beds? On a sun. Herb, yeah, Herb sleeps up there. He likes an aesthetic bedroom. It's all coming together. Hell yes. You know how it is. Okay, Dennis has... Um, Ask him to do that. Onasan's the only one putting out the fires. Dennis won't do it because he's a pyromaniac. Combat supplier from Fenbum. Uh, let's get rid of that. Hunter lacks a ranged weapon. It's Nina. She should grab a gun. So I, I had a plan of things that I was about to say. But we just unfortunately aren't there yet. Um, but, 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 why don't you grab a bow action rifle when you're done? Let's slow down for a second. What was I going to say? Alright, Dennis has exhausted all of the things we care about in the research screen. We could do the Starflight stuff. I don't think we need to. Because this is how you make a spaceship. We're not making our own spaceship. Okay? We're being taken off the world by the Royal Boys because it's the new content. Oh, here you go, Jump Pack. This is what I'm talking about. You make, it makes Locust Armor and the Jump Pack, and it needs our tech prints. Good to know. Sweet. So 
So if we can find that tech print, I would be very interested in getting it because the jump packs, literally, you grab someone, you say jump here, and they go like a boost all the way over there. Now imagine you're Hicklin. You have a power claw, a bionic eye, and a persona plasma sword, mono sword, sorry. And you jetpack into the middle of combat, and people are like, ah, what the hell? I don't know what to do. And then Hicklin obviously just kills him because he's an animal like that. He just kind of handles these things. So, you know, that's my thinking anyway. Uh, Pepper's gonna go and talk with the combat supplier. Hopefully, before they leave the map entirely. Oh no, they're gonna chill here. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. There's been an Ambrosia sprout. What can we sell? Oh, they have a jump pack tech print. As if by magic. Uh, let's let's get rid of this rubbish, right? All these crappy guns and knives and clubs and things. We, we don't need it. We don't want it. It's not our jam. Give them the plastic knife though. Poor machine pistols, yeah, get rid of it. Poor bolt action rifles. We don't, we don't need it. Awful revolver? No, thank you. Feel pretty good. Chuck some Molotov cocktails away as well. We've got some frag grenades and some Molotovs. That should be fine. Oh, and they have renamed Neuro Trainers to Skill Trainers, and uh, Side Trainers remain the same. It's going to cost a lot to get those jump packs. What if we just sold them? A hundred. See, now it's not so much. Hell yeah. Let's go. Did they... Where's that thing? Where's that tech print that we just got? We did, we did just buy a tech print. Yeah, they took a bunch of our meals. So I'm gonna have to ask you, where's the tech print we just bought? Press expires? Or... Oh. Are we gonna do this for honor? I mean, why wouldn't we? Do it. We're going to accept with Zach and we're going to try and get Zach up to be the highest possible uh, rank. Uh, Turner, by the way, could you capture this man? We're going to tend him because he has a blood rot. Uh, and where is my tech print? Will it show up in the list of stuff? No? 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 Okay, okay. I'm sure it's there. Here it is. What the hell is it doing over here? Dennis, what are you up to? Drinking psychite tea? Excellent. Please apply the tech print when you are done. Uh, also, I'm sorry, I've gone way over time. That's where we're going to have to end it for this episode. We're almost at 40 minutes. Whoops. Meant to go for 35. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I don't feel like much happened, but there was a lot of explanation in this first episode about the new update stuff. And I'm excited to get jetpacks and all that sort of stuff. And we're going to go heavy on the new update gubs. And eventually, we're going to escape the real world. So thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like. It helps me out a great deal. And I really appreciate it. Shut up, phone. I'm doing the outro. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you are so inclined for more content past and future. Check out Twitter and Discord in the description. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.